What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and today we've got yet another budget 4K projector from BenQ, so let's check this thing out. So last year I reviewed the BenQ HT 2550. Well this year we have the HT 3550. So this takes what made the HT 2550 a good projector and makes it even better. It has a sleeker look with a square lens opening and a nice metallic brown color faceplate. Now you'll notice the small cover in front of the lens with the 4K HDR logo. Well this was actually put in place to prevent light leakage from the lens onto the ceiling which bothered some people. They also added a 10% lens shift to help with installation so opening the sliding door on top reveals the lens shift dial, zoom dial, and focus ring. And the addition of lens shift means that if you're mounting it on a high ceiling, you can easily adjust the dial to move the screen closer to the floor without tilting the projector. And in the event that you do have to angle the projector, it does have automatic vertical keystone correction, so you don't have to worry about trying to adjust the keystone yourself. And on the back, you have the same matching brown color scheme along with all the ports. And you'll notice that they've added a USB 3.0 port, which can be used to play media from a flash drive. They also have an optical audio output and two HDMI 2.0 ports, which both support 4K HDR. So this thing has some impressive specs for a mid-range DLP projector. Some features that stand out include dynamic iris, motion enhancement, 3D, 100% Rec. 709 coverage, and 95% DCI-P3 color coverage. And this thing can produce a 100-inch screen from just over 8 feet away, making it one of the shortest throw ceiling mount 4K projectors we've seen. Another feature that makes this stand out from the rest, even though BenQ's product page doesn't really mention it, is the addition of 3D for all you leftover 3D fans out there. And it actually displays 3D in 1080p instead of downscaling it to 1080i like some other 4K projectors. It does the picture down a little bit as expected, but the 3D effect was nice and sharp. Another unique feature is dynamic iris. So what this does is allow the projector to evaluate the projected image and automatically adjust the brightness to improve the overall contrast. Now I'll tell you this is definitely a welcome addition since it helps with the black levels and contrast, which is noticeably better than the 4K projectors from last year. And while we're talking about picture quality, it's worth noting that the HT3550 has fantastic color accuracy. What this equates to is one of the best looking images I've seen from a DLP projector. The dynamic iris mixed with the high color accuracy produced an amazing picture with great tone mapping and contrast. So where this projector really shines is with HDR content. HDR movies look stunning and noticeably better than what I've seen from most 4K DLP projectors. I did have to turn down the color saturation a little bit, but for the most part, I was really pleased with the image. Now a 2000 lumens is not gonna blow you away with brightness, but it's perfectly fine for dark rooms and the vibrant colors definitely help. And speaking of color, there is a setting for wide color gamut that you can turn on with HDR content, but I found that it kind of looks like a filter is placed over the image and I personally prefer leaving it off. So as I said earlier, this seems like an improved version of the HT2550. And one issue that plagued the HT2550 and other DLP projectors that use the same 4K chip was the light border around the screen. Now I'm happy to report that the HT3550 is using an updated version of this chip and the light border issue is pretty much non-existent. Now there is a very small border still present, but it's really hard to see since it has much better black levels and it's definitely small enough that a felt border around the screen would hide it completely. Now as far as fan noise goes, it really didn't stand out to me too much as an issue and the dual 5 watt internal speakers are super loud. Definitely loud enough to fill a room with sound and drown out any fan noise you might hear. So overall, the image from this projector is great. The only thing I can really nitpick on is sharpness. Now this is a certified 4K projector, so it's sharp enough to meet CTA's 4K standard, but I do have to say that I wish it was a bit sharper. Compared to the Optima UHD 50 and 51A, the HT3550 has much better black levels, color accuracy, and tone mapping, but the Optima projectors are sharper. Now the one thing to keep in mind is that those projectors don't have features like dynamic iris, DCI-P3, coverage and they still have the light border issue. At the end of the day, it really comes down to whether you prefer a super sharp 4K image over a vibrant color accurate image with better black levels. But after watching the HT3550 for a few minutes, I guarantee you'll be impressed with the image from this thing. Overall, I think the HT3550 is a game changer considering its features and the fact that BenQ was able to fit all of this into a retail price of $1,500 is nothing short of amazing. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, as always, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and make sure you do that so you don't miss any new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.